Hi, we are from At Home Tuition. In this video, we are going to see few examples on how to find the area of a rhombus or any missing sides or diagonals of a rhombus. First example is the diagonal of a quadrilateral shaped field is 24 meter and the perpendiculars dropped on it from the remaining opposite vertices are 8 meter and 13 meter. Find the area of the field. So solution, let's see first what is general shaped field is 24 meter. So first I have named the quadrilateral, so it's A, B, C, D and the diagonal it's A, C, so it's given 24 meter. Then the perpendicular is dropped on the diagonal from the remaining opposite vertices. So the remaining opposite vertices are B and D and the perpendicular is dropped are so the height H1 and H2. So I have taken H1 as 8 meter and H2 as 13 meter. Now what we want to find is area of this field. So we know that from the figure the area of the quadrilateral ABCD can be divided into two triangles and the area of the total quadrilateral is sum of the area of the two triangles. So here area of the triangle ABC plus area of the triangle ADC. So we know that area of the triangle is half into base into height. So for the first triangle it is half into base into height H1. So base B is common for both the triangles. So for the next triangle it is half into base into height H2. So half into B into. So here B is common for both and half is common for both. So I have taken out. So half into B into H1 plus H2. Now substituting all the values half into base is 24 meter, height H1 is 13 meter and height H2 is 8 meter. So 24 into 13 plus 8. So 24 into half it will be 12. 24 divided by 2 12 into 13 plus 8 is 21. So 12 into 21 is 252. So the required area of the field is 252 meter squared. The next example is the diagonals of a rhombus are 7.5 cm and 12 cm. Find its area. So what is given is length of one diagonal. So let us take that as G1 that is 7.5 cm and length of the other diagonal let us take that as G2. So it is 12 cm. Now what we want to find is area of this rhombus. Let us take this as A. So now from our previous videos. We know that area of the rhombus formula is A equal to half into product of the diagonal. So product of the diagonal is D1 into D2, half of product of the diagonals. So now we know the value of two diagonals, so we can directly substitute in the formula. So A equal to half into D1 into D2. So D1 we can substitute as 7.5 cm and D2 we can substitute as 12 cm. So half into 7.5 into 12 centimeter. So half of 12 centimeter is 6 centimeter. So 6 into 7.5 is 45. So the area of this rhombus is 45 centimeter square. The next example given is find the area of a rhombus whose side is 5 cm and whose altitude is 4.8 cm. If one of its diagonals is 8 cm long, find the length of the other diagonal. So first let us see what is given and what to find. So let us consider A, B, C, D as the rhombus. Here picture is not given. For our understanding, if we draw the picture, it will be easy for us to find what is given and what to find. So I have drawn the rhombus as A, B, C, D. Okay. And the two diagonals of the rhombus are A, C and B, D. And altitude is given. So altitude is nothing but height of the rhombus. So from one end I have marked the height of the rhombus. So side of the rhombus S is 5 cm. It is given. Okay. So and altitude or height of the rhombus. Let us take that as H. It is 4.8 cm. And length of one diagonal is given. So now let us take that as D1 and it is 8 cm. So now they are asked us to find area of the rhombus that is A and length of the other missing diagonal. So that is D2. 
So now let us see how to find the unknown values. So we know that for rhombus all the sides are equal. So one side AB that is given 5 cm. So since all the sides are equal. So BC is equal to CD equal to DA equal to 5 cm. Now we also know the area of rhombus is base into height. Because if you look into the rhombus it is like a parallelogram. So area of a parallelogram is base into height. So here base is one of the sides. So that is 5 cm and height is nothing but altitude. It is already given for us. So that is 4.8 cm. So 5 cm into 4.8 cm is 24 cm square. So area of this rhombus is 24 cm square. Now we want to find the other diagonal. We only one diagonal we know. So we want to find the length of the other diagonal. So we have another formula to find the area of the rhombus. That is nothing but area of rhombus equal to product of the diagonals divided by 2. This D1 into D2 divided by 2. Okay. So now we know one diagonal GB is 8 cm. The other diagonal we want to find it out. So let us take that as D2. So already we have found out area of rhombus as 24 cm square. So we can substitute that 24 cm square for area of the rhombus. So D1 into D2 divided by 2 equal to 24 cm square. So now D1 is 8, D2 is unknown. So divide by 2 equal to 24. So now with 2 is in denominator. So we can cross multiply it. So after cross multiplying, we will get 8 into D2 equal to 48. So to find D2, we want to divide by 8 on both the sides. So if you divide by 8 on both the sides, you will get D2 equal to 48 divided by 8. That is nothing but 6 cm. So the length of the unknown diagonal that is D2 or the length AC is 6 cm. So thus we can conclude that area of the rhombus with side 5 cm and altitude 4.8 cm is 24 cm square. So the area is 24 cm square and the length of the unknown diagonal is 6 cm. Hope you have understood how to find the area of the rhombus using two formulas. One, if it is a parallelogram, then we can take it as the area of the parallelogram, that is area of rhombus as base into height. The other one, it is half of the product of the diagonals D1 and D2. And if any other quadrilateral is given, we can split or divide the quadrilateral into closed figures and we can sum up the area of the closed figures to find the area of the total. Thank you for watching the video.